Welcome to the Automated Daily, Tech News Edition. I'm your host, Trend Teller, and today is the 5th of September, 2023. We've got a lot to cover, so let's dive right in. First up, a serious warning has been issued in India about a sophisticated malware known as DogeRat. This malicious software is targeting Android users, spreading through social media and messaging platforms disguised as legitimate apps. Once installed, it can access sensitive data, control infected devices, and even record audio. The origin of this threat remains unknown, but it's clear that cyber criminals are using Telegram to distribute fake versions of popular apps. The Indian Defense Ministry is urging everyone to avoid downloading apps from unverified sources and to keep their smartphones updated with the latest software and security patches. Moving on to gaming news, Chinese game developer Hoyo Verse has announced its lineup for the upcoming Tokyo Game Show 2023. They'll be showcasing titles like Genshin Impact, Honkai, Star Rail, and Zenless Zone Zero, among others. Attendees will have the chance to experience these games firsthand and participate in on-site activities to win official game-related merchandise. In the world of blockchain and cryptocurrencies, Cardano has launched Hydra, a Layer 2 scaling solution designed to enhance the network's throughput and attract more dApp builders. Meanwhile, Polkadot is showing signs of a potential rally, and Watchvester has unveiled a profitable marketplace in the luxury watch industry allowing investors to own fractions of rare timepieces through tokenization. Former PlayStation boss Sean Layden has voiced his concerns about non-endemic companies like Google and Amazon posing a significant threat to the games industry. He urged the industry to disrupt itself before external companies do, citing examples of how Apple disrupted the music industry and Netflix disrupted the movie business. Riot Games has launched the Valorant Premiere Mode, a team-based competitive system that connects the game and the sport. Players can form teams and participate in weekly matches, with successful teams advancing to a playoff tournament. This mode offers an enhanced platform for players to compete and build formidable teams. Next, we have some exciting news for Game of Thrones fans. The Pebble Game of Thrones smartwatch is a limited-edition smartwatch that comes with a sleek design, a 1.43-inch AMOLED display, and features like always on display and quick shortcuts. It also offers Bluetooth calling and fitness tracking capabilities. Amazon has submitted two digital media receiver devices for FCC approval, suggesting that two new Fire TV sticks are on the horizon. The new models are expected to be 4K sticks with Wi-Fi 6 or Wi-Fi 6E connectivity. We can expect more details at a launch event on September 20th. Dolby has unveiled Atmos Flex Connect, a new technology that allows users to wirelessly connect compatible external speakers to their TVs and create an Atmos-enabled spatial audio setup. TCL will be the first to offer Atmos Flex Connect on its 2024 TV lineup. Sony has launched the Spatial Reality Display, a 27-inch 3D display that doesn't require special glasses or VR headsets. It supports 10-bit processing, 100% Adobe RGB color gamut, and has a super-resolution engine that can upscale 2K content to 4K. Finally, WhatsApp is introducing a new feature that allows users to manage instant video messages. This feature is currently available to select beta testers on iOS and Android and will gradually roll out to more users in the coming days. And that's a wrap for today's edition of the Automated Daily. As always, we'll be back tomorrow with more tech news. Until then, stay safe and stay connected.